One minute late is late, okay. So I had some attendance issues at an old job. Not really, the policy was that within five minutes of the shift is still considered on time. Well, I had a manager who wanted to abruptly change corporate policy and define clearly that late equals late. So background, it's retail and I'm in my senior year of college. I'm not making a career out of this job, and I'm five years older than all of my co-workers. My immediate manager felt threatened by me, as I had previously declined leadership positions to finish school. He always had something he needed to fix about me even though I had seven straight months of rock star performance, exceeding metrics by plus 10% above goal, and I frequently aided in training new employees. Once again, this was a college filler not a career move for me. I'm not a bad employee. However, I was a busy employee. My last semester working there I had five classes, and would be usually within a minute or two to my shift. So manager one day specifies I'm late, it's 3.01 and my shift starts at 3 o'clock, to which I said margin. He, in front of other co-workers decides he's gonna put his foot down. No, combustible geoduck one minute late is late. So I stopped my task and calmly asked him, then what does it mean when I'm staying 45 minutes after my shift to help when we're short staff? And he said, we don't even want to have this conversation right now, and left. To be fair he's not wrong. He handled the situation wrong. If he wanted me to change something we could have talked in private, he wanted to swing dicks in front of the new hires. So I complied. I made it a point to clock in and out exactly when my shift starts and ends. It's glorious. A couple weeks later he tells me I need to do something two minutes before my shift ends. So I start the task, and two minutes later I said, sorry manager, my shift is over. Clocked out and left. My mindset is go ahead, try to fire the best looking employee on paper for working exactly his shift and not a second long. He didn't want to swing dicks after that. TLDR A minute late is late, and I don't get paid overtime to work after my shift, so if your operation is so concrete that we need to be accurate to one minute of the schedule, you don't need me when I'm done. Now to the comments. My favorite is when I had a job where being more than five minutes late carried the same penalty as calling off complete. Get stuck in traffic? Oops can't make it in at all. Enjoy. Had one job that tracked late and no call, no show separately. Anything more than an hour late counted as a no call, no show. I show up four minutes late one day, and this is my third and will be a write-up and suspension. However, I hadn't had any no call, no shows, so I go across the street and grab a coffee and come back and pop myself in the break room. About 20 minutes later my manager comes by and asks what I'm doing on break already. I tell her I was four minutes late and was going to be written up. So I'm waiting until I'm an hour late so I'm not. You could see her face quickly going through the stages of grief. Denial. No, that's not actually happening today. Anger. You're ducking kidding me, right? Depression. Just a real heavy sigh. Acceptance. Just get to work. I'll take care of HR. That's a great MC story Imho. Time control freaks always end up having their own ideas backfire spectacularly. My last job had a new late policy that didn't make it one day. They determined that if you were a minute late, they'd take an hour of your personal time. And if you ran out of personal time, they'd fire you. Basically, every employee in every morning stand-up meeting that morning voiced one of the following concerns. 1. I'm still technically a temp. You haven't hired me on officially even though I've worked here a year. I don't have personal time. You're saying I'm one minute late, I'm fired? 2. If you're not paying me for an hour, I'm not working for an hour. I'll go get breakfast and relax for 59 minutes. Shit was reversed the next morning. Nobody even had to maliciously comply. They were jerks about other stuff, though. If you're not paying me for an hour, I'm not working for an hour. I'll go get breakfast and relax for 59 minutes. When I was younger, I worked at a part-time call center that tried this and this was the exact result.
had employees walk into the office, realize they were clocking in one minute late and they would turn around and walk right back out to return an hour late. On a particularly shitty winter day, office was open and there was one person logged in on time as everyone got stuck in the snow slash traffic etc. Naturally, everyone else just took their time knowing we wouldn't get paid for the hour. Evidently it was so bad, they had to have the majority of the leadership team log in. We all started arriving for the next clock in hour and a VP was standing there pissed as shit asking where we all were. When we explained why we were clocking in that late, she was floored. Apparently, she had no idea of this new policy that the petty operations manager had implemented. And we flat out told her we'd call the labor board if they tried to make us work unpaid under the threat of losing our jobs. We got a notice within 24 hours that the attendance policy was being revisited and the late policy from the previous month would be withdrawn. I didn't stay much longer at the company, and from what I was told, the ops manager was shuffled into another department and then eventually let go from the company. It was a really stupid policy. I had a similar scenario in an old job. The MD slash CEO decided that he was fed up of people arriving a few minutes late even though almost everyone there would average being about 5 minutes early. 5 minutes late one day, 10 minutes early the next. On top of that averaging about 5 minutes early, which nets the boss nearly 30 minutes per week of extra time per employee. The entire company was salaried and almost nobody went home on time, nor did people often take their full lunch hour unless they had an errand to run. Similarly, to your scenario, the boss started making a big fuss about anyone arriving late. Unfortunately for him, the most popular person in the company was having a bit of a rough time and so was late a few times in the first week, and thus got singled out. For nearly a month, every single employee would arrive at their normal time and stand outside the front door chatting until 8.59, then walk in and sit down. Every single employee would stand up at either 12 o'clock or 1300 hours. We had staggered lunches, to ensure cover, and walk out for lunch, then walk back in at 12 or 13.59. And every single person would stand up at 17.30 and go home. Nobody said a word, nobody made a fuss, everyone just followed the clock perfectly. After three to four weeks, the boss announced a new flexible working policy allowing staff to work 30 minutes around scheduled start slash finish times without permission. As long as they made up the difference within the same day, for example, no leaving early unless you started early, if you arrive late stay late. That's kinda the policy at my work. If you're late, you can make it up at the end of the day. We can leave an hour or two early provided we make it up within the week. I've only had to do that twice in the last year but it's nice knowing the option is there. I'd like that. Early dock appointment? Work an hour later sometime during the week and it's taken care of. This is so cathartically relatable to me. I have a research job where for some reason my company has us all pick a specific 8.5 hour window to work during. But our job does not have any reason, apart from meetings, where it matters at all what time we put in the work. Up until recently, I had been routinely staying anywhere from 30 to 60 to sometimes 90 or more minutes late just to get things finished when I was on a run. Didn't strictly have to, but I like my job well enough and sometimes when I was in the middle of stuff I just wanted to keep rolling. Because I'm contracted to work 40 hours per week and I always go way over that, I tend to not sweat it about being 10 to 15 minutes late for my start time, and nobody has ever cared. Well, anyways, a few weeks ago, my manager sent out a very rude email to a few of us saying that she knows we have not been following our scheduled working hours, and that we need to start doing so immediately. At first, I was super angry. I was like, okay, it's fair to want us to be on time for this arbitrary meaningless start time if you want to, but can we at least acknowledge that most or all of us way more than account for this lost time by staying? I considered sending a polite message back pointing this out to her that we're working more than our contracted hours, and the fact that this was a hard requirement had never before been made clear to her. But then it hit me. Her email said to follow our scheduled working hours. So, every day since this happened, I've simply arrived right on time or a few minutes early, and then left at my ending time, to the minute, regardless of what I was in the middle. A couple of other people are doing the same. It's fantastic, and I get such savage pleasure in the fact that my manager's own unnecessary pettiness has cost her hours upon hours of productivity every week. OP replied, that's the thing, I was a team player until I was nitpicked out of playing as a team. If you want to employ a robot, go ahead. Things were easier when we were humans about it though.
Exactly right. I didn't mind working late really at all when we were all chill about it and understood that it all more than evened out. But if you're going to be a jerk about 10 minutes, then I'm not doing it anymore. Why would I?